Hi everybody, my name is John Capobianco, and tonight I'm going to be exploring with you my very early steps with a framework called Django. So I've cheekily called this Merlin Unchained. Alright, so I'm going to see what I can do with Django and Merlin and see if I can evolve the project a little bit. I've got some pretty neat stuff working already, so let me just show you what I've got so far. Disclaimer, I've, I'm not pretending to be a Django expert or even a Python expert or even a novice, <laughs> but I have some things working and I thought I would share them with you. All right, so let's go to the video here with no chatting. All right, so first what I have is a model. Now this model is for the show version command. I'm making a class out of that from the Django database it comes with a database, models. So some of these are text fields, almost all of them, and then I have a timestamp for the date and time field. Now you might be wondering where I'm getting this from. Well, what I've started with, let me open up Merlin in a different window, is the show version uh, pi ATS parsed data. I thought that would be a good place to start as a nice simple data set. So what I have is this JSON from the show version, and let me hide that, sort of mapped out to all these different fields. I'm then returning all of them, and that's my little models. So what I have to do is turn this models into the actual database. So let's do that next in uh, Linux with Python. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use the Python manage. So if I do ls, when you start a new project in Django, it gives you this manage pi file, which lets you manage your application. So what I'm going to do is make migrations show version, the name of my app. And what this is going to do is create another pi file the model show version. And now that I have the model, I have to actually migrate it. So I've made my migration. Now let's migrate it into the database. Now, if you look here in the background, you'll notice there's this new database, SQL Lite 3 file, and a migrations folder where that PI file is located. So let's finish off the migration. Okay, good, we have applied our migration. So what I have in the background here is a Merlin job that's been modified. You can see that from show version models, I'm importing show version now. I do my standard for device in testbed. And what I'm doing here is printing show version objects all, and you'll see that there are none. It's a null value. I then use my PI ETS and learn, excuse me, parse the show version command. If that's not none, I set up a new variable show version as that function. And then all of these different variables, right, from our model, remember our model? Well, everything to the left of the, of the equals here goes to the left of the equals here and I set it as the individual JSON keys, excuse me again, JSON keys from the parsed values. Then I save them with the Django function save, and then I'm gonna print, if, all work, if it worked, let's print the boot flash, and let's print the timestamp. Let's just add one more print, why not? Let's just do, and let's print the name of the device as well. All right, so now let's run the PI ATS job. Let's make this full screen. Um, and here we go. Now I have to connect this into the actual service, but let's just take a look at this for now. For now I'm running it and then I'm starting my server, which I'll do in a second. So there is the print right here where the query set is empty. It's empty when we first print it. The PI ATS learns the version and gives us the PI, the, the JSON. And then look at the name is Nexus. That's the boot flash. 
and there is the timestamp. Pretty incredible. Now, I think I should add more than just the date to the timestamp because I, I want more than just the date. So let me erase the database. But before I do that, let me turn on the server. And what I had to do before, you know, I had to make a user and a password. And I had to, so let me run server. But before I do that, in Django, there is this file called admin. So what I've done now is import models and then register models show version. So now in my administration page in Django, which I'm going to turn on here, I should get, right, if I go to this page, slash admin, let's load it up here. Sorry, rank on tours, I want to show my Django. So here is the Django, the install worked. Well, let me add, you know, slash admin here. Whoops. Um, slash admin. How did I get to that admin page? <laughs> uh, sorry, that sucks. Localhost 8000. I thought it was slash admin. Why is that not working? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I must have made a mistake there. So anyway, so now I have my username and my password. No such table. Um, maybe when I blew away the database. Yeah, here, let me recreate the user. I see what's happened. I started with a fresh database. So all I need to do is, let me make this so you can see it a little better, is make my super user, create super user here. No such, uh, am I in the right folder here? With manage, create super user. Hmm. No such table auth user. Well, I'm gonna have to look into this. I did have the admin page working and then I blew away the database. Um, run Python, oh, here we go. You have 18 unapplied migrations. Your project might not work properly and so you run Python manage pi migrate. Let's run that, manage pi migrate. Oh, here we go, there we go, create super user. Here we go, email address. Thank you for bearing with me, I know it's not perfect. Um, but all right now 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 I can start the server and refresh and now I should be able to log in here we go here we go here we go and then um, what I have is that show versions and oh my goodness check it out it has the data now and it has that timestamp. I'm going to have to fix it, blow the database away, and start again. Now, I don't have a page set up for this change. I don't know why that's erroring there, but um, I have very minimal. And if I hit Add here, you can see that I could add my own override here and then timestamp it. Pretty cool, right? But this is neat that I actually have all of the version inside of Show Version. So again, I'm just getting started. I'm scratching the surface and there's going to be a lot more to come. I'm going to adjust that timestamp a little bit before I do anything else. And then I'm going to see about making a presentation page. So what I showed you was the admin page. Now I need to make like a, a user facing page to display that show version information. Pretty incredible, right? Just in a few hours, I got this going. Thanks again. And, and there'll be much more to come.